How about something a little more uplifting? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 positive 2020 news stories that give us hope. For this list, we're looking at some of the most noteworthy uplifting news stories from 2020 so far. These are crazy times we're living in, and the news is rarely a reason to smile. These are the exceptions. Note, however, that we'll only be including verified stories. So, sadly, the news about swans returning to Venice won't be included, as it has been debunked as inaccurate. Number 10. Quarantined Dance-Alongs and Sing-Alongs Of all the countries that have been affected by 2020's pandemic, Italy is among those that's had it the worst. But the Italian people, famous for their sense of community and appreciation of the little things, have found a way of staying connected even when in self-isolation. Multiple videos have surfaced of Italian residents joining together to sing songs from their windows. Those with balconies have even come together for social distancing dance parties. And Italy isn't alone. U.S. resident Michelle McCormick has begun organizing them in Boston using social media. In Mallorca, Spain, police officers even did an impromptu performance for residents. Sing-alongs and dance-alongs are now popping up all over the world. <laughs> Number 9. Love That Knows No Bounds Imagine being married for 67 years but not being able to see your spouse to celebrate it together. That was the situation an aging resident of Vernon, Connecticut found himself in in March of 2020. His wife lives in a nursing home, but because the elderly are considered particularly vulnerable to illness, no one is allowed in or out during the pandemic. It makes me feel bad because I... I want her down with me. This has proven especially hard on Bob, who usually visits his wife daily. Refusing to not honor their love, however, Bob made a sign for his wife on their anniversary that he held up outside her nursing home to remind her, and the entire world, just how much he cares. Could you read my sign? I've loved you 67 years and still do. Happy anniversary. His wife Nancy responded in kind by blowing him kisses. Love truly conquers all. I wouldn't want anybody else. I don't think she could put up with anybody else like me. Number 8. Little Free Libraries Become Little Free Pantries Toilet paper, peanut butter, oatmeal, and so much more have now replaced the shelves of books that used to be in this Little Free Library on Cherry Street. The Little Free Library is a concept that's become popular in recent years, especially with social media helping to spread the idea to more neighborhoods. Essentially, it's a small to mid-sized box installed on a street corner and protected from the elements where people can contribute and borrow books. According to littlefreelibrary.org, there are over 100,000 of these around the world. Responding to the needs of their neighborhood during the pandemic, however, many people have started converting these pint-sized community libraries into community pantries. It's a movement that's starting to take off. These little free libraries in Sock Rapids have been transformed into mini food shelves. The goal is to provide those most in need with food by inviting people to leave what they can spare and take what they need. It sure is amazing how people can come together during times of isolation. The note on the door says, take what you need, save some for others, donate, help, and spread the love. Number seven, talk shows keep filming from home. As the epidemic has spread to become a pandemic, many governments around the globe are calling for all non-essential businesses to close in order to flatten the curve. Those who can work from home have continued to do so, but a television talk show doesn't exactly fit the bill of remote work. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Late Night from my hallway. Committed to keeping people entertained while quarantined without putting staff at risk, talk show hosts have started hosting home editions of their programs, including Stephen Colbert, Seth Meyers, and Jimmy Kimmel. Hello again, quarantini boppers. It's me, Jimmy, with my nightly update on everything that's not going on. Jimmy Fallon, for his part, has been interviewing celebrities via video chat, highlighting charities in need, and just generally getting creative. Honestly, with in-person guests like his dog Gary and his kids in the background, this might be better than the real thing. Be safe, uh, wash your hands, and uh, don't touch your face. See you tomorrow! Whee! Number 6. Celebrities Opening Their Wallets People across the world are really struggling right now. Rent groceries, utility bills, such basic necessities are becoming increasingly difficult to cover as the work dries up or disappears overnight. Thankfully, those in positions of financial privilege are digging deep into their pockets to help those less fortunate than them. Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds donated a million dollars to food banks. 
Kelly Ripa and Mark Consuelos did the same for ventilators and to support women's shelters. Rihanna, Kristen Bell, Lady Gaga, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Brad Paisley are just a few other big names to open their hearts and wallets. Forget all that. Public gatherings, restaurants, and all those gymnasiums out the window. We stay home. With the NBA season suspended, various teams and players like Zion Williamson are covering the salaries of arena staff. Truly inspiring. Number 5. TP Deliveries Why is toilet paper seemingly considered the single most valuable resource when crisis breaks out? We're not sure. Maybe it has something to do with how vulnerable people feel when they find themselves on the toilet without it. Whatever the reason, people hoarding the TP have caused massive shortages. Thankfully, others have chosen to spread it around instead, specifically to those most in need. Two young girls in Queensland, Australia, aged just six and four years old, pooled their pocket money to buy toilet paper and deliver it by wagon to their aging neighbors. Now, if that doesn't just melt your heart, we don't know what will. Number four, volunteer cards. During a pandemic, people can begin to feel isolated. Those with reduced mobility, those who are vulnerable to getting sick, and those who are already showing cold symptoms are essentially stuck inside their homes. This not only affects their ability to care for themselves, but also takes a mental toll. Thankfully, viral kindness cards, both physical and online, have begun making the rounds in various neighborhoods and communities. These cards help to put people in self-isolation in touch with others who can help them out in various ways, be it with running errands or simply someone to talk to. These are trying times, but it's truly incredible how people are coming together. He went off shopping for me, got everything but three items, and he said, no, I'll continue looking for them. And I just think it's wonderful. Number three, online concerts. The music industry is being hit pretty hard by this health crisis. Given that the revenue from digital streaming is incredibly low, small and mid-range acts tend to make most of their profits from live concerts and physical merch sales. Pivoting in these trying times, musicians of all levels have begun offering live streamed performances online. For local and smaller acts, you're often invited to make a donation to help them get through the crisis. Viewers get to experience live music and support struggling artists. It's a win-win. Dozens of big-name artists, who are more financially stable like Chris Martin of Coldplay, Miley Cyrus and John Legend, are similarly offering free performances, often in support of various charities. Don't delay, send yours in right away. Number 2. Mass Applause for Healthcare Workers This pandemic is affecting people around the world, but few are being pushed to the limits quite like professionals working in the healthcare industry. <laughs> While most people are being cautioned to stay at home, practice social distancing, and self-isolate in the case of mild illness, doctors, nurses, and support staff are working overtime to care for those who've been hospitalized. <laughs> Not only is this exhausting, but they're also putting themselves at serious risk of illness. As a society on lockdown, there are few ways for us to express our gratitude to these brave individuals. But people certainly are. Mass rounds of applause from home have been coordinated online in various cities as a show of thanks. In some places, nightly. It's a small gesture, but one that still means a lot. I know it's been a tough year so far, but a lot of these stories give me hope for humanity. And that's the truth. Number one is basically just adorable, so let's take a look at some honorable mentions and then we'll see what it is. later on during the day, like yesterday, it was just chaotic, and uh, this morning it was well managed, full marks to all worse. This Monday, March 16th at 7.30 p.m., we'll be offering the beginning of a nightly showing of an HD encore performance from the past. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Penguins take a walking tour of a closed zoo Like many cultural attractions in public spaces, Chicago's Shedd Aquarium is closed due to health concerns about crowds. 
In a nice change, however, some of the residents are getting a chance to check out the other exhibits. Employees decided to embrace the silver lining of there being no guests in the building by taking the penguins on a field trip. The various penguins each seemed to be drawn to different areas. Monty observed the dolphins, while Wellington, perhaps unsurprisingly, seemed particularly interested in the fish in the Amazon Rising exhibit. Two other penguins, Edward and Anne, reportedly went for a stroll around the rotunda. Talk about an adorable distraction that can be enjoyed by animals, employees, and viewers at home. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.